Hello everyone, this is Richard G, and today we're going to do something a bit different, actually. Um, due to Valentine's Day, a special dungeon has opened. We're going to make our way there, and it's something that formerly was known as Holiday Cave, now is just a dungeon event. So, for Valentine's Day, staff decided to add a dungeon called Valentine Relic. Um, it's only going to be open for a week, so it is closing Sunday. Um, you know, there's some good stuff inside, but, um, it's just, you have a limited amount of time to get this stuff. Now, as an event dungeon, um, they're always in Holiday Hills over here, and like all of them, they have some prerequisites. For this place, all of your Pokemon are sent to level 30. Um, as along with that, you can't bring any items at all. And you have to be in a party of at least two players. Now obviously, I can't do this alone. So because of that, I'm bringing someone with me. And he's gonna be here shortly, but... Um, you don't see him yet, but he is Zappe, also known as Shiny Zekrom. So we're going to be collabing and doing this place. And okay, everything loaded up. There he is. So I'm going to be doing him, uh, um, doing this with him. Um, he is AFK right now, but when he's back, we'll be going in. So I'm going to join his party because I'm pretty sure he made one. All right, so when he gets back, we'll be getting going then. So, I'll see you when he's back. Hello everyone, Shiny Zekrom back, and my special guest is gonna be, uh, why don't you, uh, say who you are? So, I am Richard G, Yep. and I'm collabing with Zappa here, also known as Shiny Zekrom. Yep, I'm going to be on my Zappa character just because I'm basically wanting to grind what's in the end boxes, which, yes, there's gonna be end boxes in this dungeon, so spoilers. But we'll get to that much later. So, uh, I'd say let's enter this dungeon and get this thing started. So, of course we went over, you need two people in a party, your uh, team is going to get set to level 30, and you get no experience points, and you have to have an the inventory. So, uh, why don't you talk about what's in these beginning floors once we get inside, that is. Alright, here we go. So, what's on these beginning floors now? So... Uh, we're starting on 1F. Um, from 1 to 10, it's kind of like a straightforward dungeon. And just about everything's recruitable except for one thing, and that would be Azumarill. So, oh, these things he's talking about include Mawile, Glammeow, Nuzleaf, Meryl, Skiploom, Corfish, Corsola, Teddy Ursa, and Dustox. There is a few later recruits on some later floors, but... Um, We'll get to that when we get to the force. So take this apple, because this is another thing that's going to have to be talked about throughout this dungeon, is you are going to have to split your items between other players, because they are a wee bit limited, but not as limited. Um, apple items, ether items, lapa berries, you gotta, if you find those, try and split them between your party members as much as possible. You can also find golden apples, which... This is the first instance of us being able to find golden apples, which... These golden apples, uh, I don't know, why don't you explain them? Uh, golden apples, they're a special kind of apple in which they fully restore your, your belly, and then increase the maximum amount of belly, all the way up to the max, actually. Um, th what he's talking about is it goes up to a max of 200 belly. Yeah, that's a lot, it's a hundred more than you get regularly. So, if anything, find those and keep them. They are very keep... rare, though. Yep, he said they are very rare. You want to know, uh, if you get any golden apples, save them. There's a dungeon coming up with those. I think he'd agree is going to be very useful. Extremely useful. Alright, so, from here it's just kind of a bit of, we're just going to run... Get everything out of our way and try and get as many apples and ether items. So if you hear us mention, like, where stairs are, 
It's just so we can communicate. Uh, you gotta go through the wall over here, buddy. Yep, that's why I brought Drift Blim. Yeah, we both coverage. have Drift Blim, actually, so... Later, f I'll just mention now, later floors are gonna be a bit difficult, so... Having Ghost is kind of a recommended thing. Yep. Um... So yeah, for now it's just gonna be us kind of running around trying to s find anything, for that matter. Also, for Pokemon helpful to bring, um, I believe we both have Blissey, correct? Yep. This is for um, a move called Refresh, because there are status conditions here. Unfortunately, I don't have it. Um, do you have it? I don't have it either. Now, there's another move besides Refresh that is also good for Blissey that it can get is Soft Boiled. I don't have it, but what about you? I don't have it either, but at least our abilities can kick in, so if we keep our Blissey with, we, with us, we can still recover from status conditions. How we recover from these status conditions is Blissey has an ability called Healer. This is where if you are Blissey yourself, by the way it's middle left for the stairs, Blissey's Healer ability, as long as you are standing out as Blissey or another person stands out as Blissey and the other person has a status condition, if they use a regular attack or use a move, they will recover from their status condition right then and there. Um, uh, oh boy. The silver wind spam is real from the dust tox. Yep, quite Goodness. the range. Uh, let's run around all you- oh, of course, top right. I'm just gonna pick up an apple and an ether here and then I'll make my way. Max ether at that. Oh, I, I think I actually found one at some point, thing too. I try to pick up any nope. kind of food I can find, because you never know when you're going to need it. Oh, yeah, speaking of uh, different kinds of foods, I forgot to mention a couple of the other items you can get in here, which include cleanse orbs, so any sticky items, potions right down here, potions for 50 HP for anyone that is in the range of the potion, down here are the stairs. Okay. Um... So yeah, potions can be really helpful. There's also cleanse. Oh, were you? Oh, I thought you were glitch or something. But um, um, cleanse orbs. There's recycle orbs, which any of the grimies that you see within this dungeon, you can actually use recycle orbs to recycle those grimies. Those also work in any other dungeon. So those are helpful. And another type of orb, which you haven't seen, called invisify orbs. So. You want to talk about that? Because I know I'm pretty sure you're a big fan of those. Yes, what it is is um, for you and anyone in your party that's nearby, you will become invisible for a short amount of time. Your enemies will not be able to see you at all. Whoa. Teddy uh, making the. So, actually, since Rich has poison condition, and here's a perfect example. If I stand out as Blissey and he uses his F attack. Um, I hear it, so give me a sec. Uh -oh. Alright, sorry about that little abrupt thing, but, uh, you might not see it on my screen, but, uh, Hydreigon is poison, so what he did is he uses F attack while on Blissey, and it'll say that whoever the Pokemon that has healer, uh, healed the status condition. So. And if you don't have a Blissey for healing like this, um, something I picked up, um, was an old Gateau. This is an item that once consumed will heal from any status condition you have. And it looks like I think we're having a bit of a lag attack. Because I've moved and I've used a lot of pursuits and I haven't seen anything go through yeah, yet. Yeah, it's still saying 10F for me. I'm going to try uh, refreshing. Uh, Alright. Uh, be right back. Sorry about the cut again. Errors are kind of being a pain, but... That's what happens. Bottom right. left. And for, for, for those of you who've seen my videos, you know this can happen. And I know this happens for a lot of other people. It's something that can't be really controlled, per se. That's just what happens. Oh, my God. You covered. Because I'm not letting Jinx touch. Because one major thing to mention is be careful around Jinx. They have a move called Parasong, which we haven't seen yet. It is a floor-wide AoE that, as long as you are lower leveled or the same level as Jinx, you can have a possibility of getting hit. What this means is, if you attack, if you get hit, you have three turns to attack, 
before you automatically faint. You lose all your HP, and you're done and dead. So be very careful with that. However, another item we forgot to mention that's in here is Reviver Seeds. Those will definitely help you, so if you find any, make sure to pick them up. And top right for the stairs, it looks like. And speaking of items, one I picked up just a little bit ago, Luminous Orb. This can be used here, but with a risk. While it gives you full vision around you, it also gives your enemies the same vision. The vision he mentions for the Luminous Orb is for any Pokemon in your party, so it could be one that you're not even using. Oh, and look at that, we actually have a Muna sitting right here, so... I think instead I'll take a random chance at it, and it looks like I didn't get lucky enough. However, I'll say right now, you can't bring any items in here, so there, and you can't find like Soothe Bell or anything in here. So the percentages you see for recruitment, they are what they are, and you cannot change them whatsoever. Right, and predetermined basically, um, we've kind of arranged Zappe is gonna be going for a lot of the recruits since I already have this stuff. There's one specific I'm going after. Um, I'm actually going after Auden, though, but if I saw Muna, I just decided to kill it for fun. Just now, for funsies. Uh, I'm fine, I think. Yep, I'm good. Let's see. Um, as you can see, I'm using Teddy, and we actually got uh, no... St I forgot another couple of items that can be good for you along this are No stick cap, which this means your items can't get sticky. And, um... I just found a Reviver Seed. Oh, nice, and I actually just found a rest. But, not only that, but there's, um... What was it going? Uh, no stick cap, but they can also be stamina bands. So, you can find those in here, and... I've already kind of gone over those, so... If you find them, use them, because we haven't even... mentioned how many floors long is this place? How many is it? A total of 30. Yep, we have gone through 17 so far, and there is one, one more set of uh, floor changes that we have left. Just and that set of that floor now. changes is why you have to bring two people. Um, you are going to actually kind of laugh at this. So, I'll mention right now, Mine Jr. has a lower recruit rate than Audino. What Rich didn't know is, I actually just got one. <laughs> oh, I don't nice. even I don't even know how. But I just got that, so that happened. Wow. Um, That's just the luck of a draw. Words cannot describe. At least you've got one of them. Huh? Make that two, because another one just asked to join, but I said no. Um, well, if I... you have one, and whoa, the parish song. Yeah, Jinx was using it near me, so I kind of switched to Blim, because I actually don't know if Honchkrow has it, and I... I don't want to risk it. However, I'm not seeing anything. Ooh. Did we cover over what pair song, like, how many turns you get? Yep, I said it was three. Right. Oh, yeah, Ominous Wind and Drift Bloom. That, Let me that's check mine. That's another thing. Is, uh, it, it's a floor wide, a, or a very big AoE, Ominous Wind is. So. It can hit a lot of things in range. It looks like yours got it too, huh? Yes, it did, but it's its only attacking move. They can also get Phantom Force, which is another good move for Drift Blim. Funny enough, I actually got that, so... I just used a potion to heal because I kind of needed it, and funny enough, I just picked up the Reviver Seed, so... Or even on those, so... Yeah, it's pretty and much you, fine so you got the Reviver Seed, I got the Stamina Band. Oh, yeah. I, saw, I didn't know if it was. I have already picked up two... No stick cap, so I've kind of been having some bad luck with those. Another held oh. item here, I don't think we've seen one yet, but Defense Scarf. Oh uh, yeah, that'll raise your defense and... It, it can be useful, but it's not the greatest of use. I'd rather look... take the Stamina Band if possible. Yep. However, the later floor... Just... The Defense Scarf isn't that great, because there's, uh, to mention, a lot of special attackers. Uh, okay, so it looks like we're on the last floor of this section, so after 10F we switch over to here, and third, no stick cap. Okay, game. Wow. But yeah, and, uh, we haven't seen an audit though, which I'm kind of surprised. I usually see one, but uh, one run I did before this, I actually didn't even find one. It looks like we're at our stairs right now. Ooh, hello. 
Um, did I pick a Lumberry somewhere? I, yeah, uh, I believe you did. I did. I'm gonna go one more floor lower to see- or one room lower. Yep, a couple, I guess. Because this is our last cool. floor of recruitment. Yeah, because uh, once we get to 21 plus, there's not any more recruitables, but however, if Rich hits the floor, starting on these floors, there's mystery eggs. What do those contain? Well, mystery eggs, there's only three Pokemon in them. A chance of Skitty, Smoochum, or Dedene. Um, t two of which, um, Smoochum and Dedene, are obtainable. From, at least from the dungeons I've currently done. But, um, what was the, the Dene, Sm oh, Skitty is gonna come in a much, much later, uh, top left for stairs. But, It's much, in the same much... dungeon as, uh, Mime Jr., actually. Yep. So, yeah, a lot of these two, like, like I mentioned, Muna and Audino are this dungeon exclusive. Mawile, Glamiel, Nuzleaf, uh, and Mime Jr., and Dust Tox, for that matter. All those Pokemon I just mentioned, we have not even been in a dungeon to recruit them. So if you want them right now, now would be a very good spot to go after them, because... Pretty much, um, a few of them will be seeing soon, but not too soon. And, uh, more like Nuzleaf we could have gotten, because see, that was in the deep part of Tiny Grotto. However, we did miss to, uh, miss mentioning something on these floors that I think you're standing on right now. Right, switches. So, the reason why you have to have two people, because from floors 21 to 29, both people have to step on a switch simultaneously to open the stairs. And so Zappe is looking for one, the other one right now. So in case you didn't hear him, 21F, starting on these floors, there's switches. You have to find two of them, which is why you need two people. And not only that, you... Uh, what was I going to say? After people both of the two step on switches at the same time the stairs will unlock and as you see you just keep going and going and you just run until you find them so you're on a switch the stairs are going to be in the middle right because i just passed them that's the one th good thing about looking for other switches is the other player might run into the stairs or at least where they are so on these floors there's going to be some very tough pokemon such as there's Lilligant, which can have pedal dance and own tempo, so it'll never confuse itself after using pedal dance. There's Nido King and Nido Queen, who have very tough move sets, such as Nido King has Home Claws, raising his accuracy and attack at the same time. And Nido Queen just has good range on it, so they hurt. I think with Nido King and Nido Queen, Poison Point can be a bit painful. You attack one tile away, and you have a chance of getting poisoned. The same with uh, Rose Raid, who we passed in the last part, too. Um, I don't I know. A, I found a stamina band for you, and we're in a safe spot. Okay, um, I have one switch quick. Oh. And I erred. Alright, sorry about that. Cut, we are back, and I gotta let Rich explain himself over there because something happened. Yeah, so during that little error, um, Hydreigon died. I do have a Reviver Seed, but it doesn't show up in the options. We've seen this before. So I'm just gonna switch, cancel, and pop it up. Um, okay. And, okay, we're having some lag, but, alright, there we go. Alright, so you're all good. I, oh, yeah, there, there goes your reviving. But, um, in case you didn't hear him, I don't know if we've run into this problem personally, but what happens is, sometimes when you error and die, it will not show an option. Oh, by the way, it's uh, middle left for stairs, because I was actually near them, I guess. But, um... If you, again, in case we haven't covered this, if you die but you have a reviving item, you hit switch and cancel the switch and the revive options should come up, or give up and no. One of those two ways you should be able to see a reviving option again. It's something I, that happen. Yeah, I personally prefer switching just because if you accidentally switch, you're okay. If you accidentally give up, that, that doesn't go well. Alright, so... We're um, oh look at this okay so I'm just gonna get rid of these guys so we don't have to deal with them because and the stairs are up here too okay perfect 
So let's get going. You can grab that apple. Oh shoot. Um. Yep. Grab uh, and run. Okay. Let's go. Oh, that crit actually almost got me. So again, if you don't see potions range, that's the range of it. I believe it's five. Five tile AOE around you, and any of your teammates that stand in it will get the same effects of 50 HP recovery. Ooh, and I'm actually almost dead again. I need an orange berry, and we should be good. Oh, since I did accidentally mention, well, I had kind of had to, but the end boxes here, make sure you don't pick up any family item boxes you see, because, um... The end boxes have special kind of names to them, and we'll go over that once we get to that part. I think Rich knows, because I've yeah, almost done that. We've done this place many times, getting ready and making sure we know everything about this place. So, um, there's two good things that just happened to me, and both were in the same room. Number one, we got an egg. And number two, if I can make it to the stairs, stairs safely... Uh, I think you might need one of these. I actually found an extra one. And did I hear an egg? Yep, that was me. I got an egg, actually. Yep, I was gonna say, I hear the sound effects of it. Yep. Um, oh, speaking of the eggs having Dedene here, what's really good about having Dedene, Skitty, and Smoochum here, it makes it ten times easier to actually get both of those two. Why is that? I found a switch, by the way. Reason being is, remember how I said Dedenne was a 5% chance in wall and water eggs invisible? Well, here, these eggs are invisible, and you have basically... There's three Pokemon you can get through these eggs, so it's only a 1 in 3 shot to get the Dedenne. Ten times easier. Skiddy, you can step on that switch. Skiddy being in these eggs, Skiddy's a starter, one of the normal type starters and there's um smoochum who was in the wind and forest eggs but if you want an easy your chance to get smoochum they're in these eggs and much easier to get than the way in um wind and forest now looks like the stairs are in the bottom middle part and i found my fourth no stick cap i think oh, i've only found one of those so, I'm going to go over quick. If you use a Lumberry with a sealed move, such as, like, Disable or something used against you, if you use a Lumberry, you actually get rid of that Disableness. It's very useful in here, trust me, because a lot of the time, for example, my Wing Attack or, like, Night Slash on Hot Crow can get sealed by another Pokemon. Uh, Slowpoke specifically uses Disable. So, if we get rid of that by a lumberry it helps us out a lot so it looks like stairs are going to be right down from spawn about the middle -ish. and uh i have something for you if you want to take one is to the right of the stairs there's actually an egg two eggs holy all crap. right i'll be there um i aired again so i'll be there when we're back yep all right we're back again sorry about that so it looks like rich's hydragon died again hate to say that but i just I'm surprised I haven't died, because I've been in red HP too many times. So, I mentioned to him that the stairs were in the top right, and... Or, the top middle, and to the right of them was actually the egg. So, if Rich heads over to the right of here... Right, and with all these Pokemon making my way around, I'm not seeing the egg, so something must have picked oh, it's, it up. It's over to the right of this room. Oh, okay. Uh, I killed them anyways. So, right over this way, there's an egg sitting on this pink tile right here. Sweet. So, that's three eggs total for this run, actually. Because, and you know that room you just went through? Yep. There was an egg right below in that room as well. So, you've so got two eggs, I've got one. Yep. And, of course, always, as I usually mention, whenever you get eggs, always make sure that, um... You can always switch them around. These eggs, however, they definitely do not take that long to hatch. So not at all. That's one good benefit about picking eggs here. Plus, right. like I said, one of the Pokemon you can't even obtain in these eggs yet. Or we haven't been able to yet. And two, it makes two of the Pokemon in these eggs a lot easier to get. 
Okay, so let's move on to the final floor. So, what's this final floor about? And you might want to mention since we're right next to it. The stairs. These, um, there are two switches on this floor. Only one of them needs to be stepped on. And it will transform the stairs into the upwards ones, which are the correct ones. These are fake stairs. So, stepping on the switch will give us the real stairs. Let's go find the, one of the switches. Alright, so, in case you guys didn't hear him that well, in this floor only, you will find two switches on the floor. Only one of them has to be pressed by one person. Once pressed by this person, the stairs switch. The reason you want to is if you go to the other stairs, you will not go to the ending where these boxes I've been talking about are. Now, I think the switches are in this room, and I have a feel. Oh, no, they aren't, but there are a lot of Pokemon around me. Uh, I'm just making a run for it. Oh! And it looks like a time change actually just happened because it turned really bright all of a sudden. Good, that means missions when we get out, hopefully. Yeah. However, of course, I forgot to mention with holiday dungeons like this, I did find the switch, by the way, and it is activated. So, what? but anyways, you will not get missions for these kind of holiday events. It will never occur just because they'd have to add the missions and then they'd have to remove them as soon as the event's over. And it just, it doesn't seem right. So, to quick go over this, at least for my part, when we get to the stairs like we both are right now, one person will have to log off, otherwise the boxes will have to be split. There are four boxes, and they can contain some really good items, which we both want to try and go after. So, Rich is going to, to log off for us really quick, and... In his part, or his perspective of this dungeon, he will go over all the items and whatnot in these unboxes, so... I'm gonna log off now, and I will be back inside the room. Alright, so I'm back. Um, Zappe has already gone through, he's got his items, and so now it's my turn. I'm gonna go in. Just let this load. And all right, so we're gonna see four boxes. They're not deluxe boxes, but they do have some good items. There's no family items involved with these. So we're gonna walk around and make our way out. So there's actually a very long list of items you can obtain, so I'll start kind of going through that. So some items you can obtain. You can obtain a golden apple, which was covered earlier. You can find some sweethearts, uh, TM's Attract and Swagger. You can find a star piece, which sells for 4,900 poke. Um, there's the Dawnstone, which is a good evolutionary item. It's also found in Wind and Forest, but this is an alternative. You can find Relic Gold, which sells for 2,500 poke. You can find a Polka Doll. Um, there's the Nugget, which is 5k. Big Nugget's 10k. Um, there's the Shiny Stone, which is an evolution item, which we have not been able to find yet. It has been any dungeon we've been to. Uh, there's the Soothe Bell, which is a good item that actually, when held, will increase your recruit rate. It may be by 1%, but sometimes that 1% is everything. Um, Heart Scales are here. And... You know my luck with heart scales, but I'm not going to count on it here. But it's still a nice find, and I've explained that in previous videos. And probably one of the most looked for things in these boxes are event tokens. Boxes can hold one or two of them. And if you don't know what event tokens are, they actually are given out normally during weekly events held by staff members. But I haven't recorded any of them, just because... They're very unpredictable and when they start and when they end. Sometimes they're short, sometimes they're long, sometimes just there's some bugs involved. Okay, now to make our way to Zatu. And as you can see, the town has been remapped in, for Valentine's Day. And up in the top left area, there's another shop exclusive items for it. But we're gonna focus on Zatu. Alright, um, I'm gonna have to take some money out of storage so that I can open them. Let's do that now. 
I'll take more than enough. Okay, so let's see what we got. So I got a shiny stone, a heart sweet, and two star pieces. So, not too bad. I'm going to make some money off of that run. Definitely some better items. But, overall, good run. So, <clears throat> that's that. Um, for the future, um, I do plan on getting to Wind and Training Dojo. I've been doing a lot of preparation for that. Because of that, my Flygon is a lot higher level, and I've been doing some separate training with my Dragonite. You'll see that when we get to that video. Although, honestly, I'm not sure when we're going to get to it, because I'm having some issues with my router. And um, I'm going to be getting it checked out, making sure everything's okay with it. So, I might be on a little hiatus. Um, it's going to be checked out in a few days, so I'll try to get a video in. But if I don't, you'll just know that I'll be on a little hiatus. But that's just so you guys know. It may happen, but I'll try to see what I can do. So, without further ado, that was Valentine Relic. I thank Zappe for coming with. Um, that was a lot of fun. And I can't wait to hear what he got. So, thank you for listening. Um, this is Richard G. I will see you next time.